welcome to my channel. My name is Busayo Ogunlaja. I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. And I do content on lifestyle. I show you beautiful places to visit. I take you to the beaches, the restaurants, the markets, and all that good stuff. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you what 100,000 Naira can buy currently in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, thank you for the love of my last market vlog. And so I decided to replicate, but this time it's going to be bigger, it's going to be better, and you're definitely going to enjoy it. So please watch to the end of the video because I'm going to be showing you all the things I was able to get with 100,000 Naira. I pray I'm able to get a lot of things. And leave the comments rolling in. I promise I'm going to, you know, respond to all comments I get on this video. So please wait to the end of the video and please do donate for subscribe to my channel like this video share it to your family and friends if you found it useful <laughs> so let's go to the market So guys, I don't know why, but it's my default setting. Like the first thing I buy when I get to the market is always um, pepper. So I like to get my tomato mix ready, my pepper, my tatashi, my rodo. I don't know, I don't like using shombo. Then I blend everything together. Like that's the first thing I usually do. Who is like me? <laughs> please raise up your hand in the comment section if you are like me. I always write a list anytime I'm going to the market of things I want to get. Please pardon my list. Some of it is in Yoruba, which is my native language. Do you remember I said it's always stressful pricing meat because it doesn't have a standard price but wait guess who is now pro at pricing meat yeah yeah that's me so it just comes with you know practice something you just have to practice and i think i'm getting better and i think i got a really good deal for this meat <laughs>
forget my cage. The one that I buy that day, I don't forget that one. Pasta man, wow. So these leaves I used to make moi moi. Moi moi is like a beans mixture that is grinded and put in these leaves and cooked. By the way, please, what is the English name for these leaves? We just call it the way moi moi. And then this is me buying vegetables that we're going to use for the fried rice mix. We think Jollof and fried, which is your favorite. Ah, I am seeing fried rice anytime, any day. Unapologetic about it. <laughs> I'm back from the market. Ah, fine girl in the mud. <laughs> I came back and I had to find something to eat, but now I have strength. So let's go into it. So let's find out what the prices of the food stuff I got. There are quite a lot of things here, but we're going to go through every single one of them. So please stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. So this is everything <laughs> yeah 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 everything basically <laughs> so these are the prizes but i'm going to be going through you know one by one so let me start with the meat so this meat costs twenty five thousand naira. <laughs> is that i told you guys that i don't like pricing it but it took the courage. I had to price this one. I was very strict, you know. I cut it down because I... But I think this is a good buy compared to other places. But as usual, so yeah, let me know from where you are. Let me know in the comment section where you are watching this video from. And how much does foodstuffs in your country cost right now? For example, how much does would this meat cost if it was in your country? So this is the meat. Uh, I, I like that it was cut into very big, you know, chunk. And this, this is very, this is very good. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the rice. So this rice is a bag of rice, and this is the foreign rice. And a bag costs thirty thousand naira. And so this half bag costs fifteen thousand naira. This is not actually the brand of rice, but it was poured into this sack. Um, let me try and open it. Alright, so this is what the rice looks like. It's not the very tiny rice, it's the big grain. And this is foreign rice. Our bag cost 15,000 naira. So next I'll be talking about the pepper mix. So this um, pepper, we bought two paints for tomatoes and one paint cost 2,000 naira. So two was 4,000 naira. Then we bought Tatashe, 1,000 naira. We bought um, Rodo, I think Rodo was also like 1,000 naira. Uh, and then we bought, there's something called Shombo. Shombo, like 900 naira. So everything cost um, 6,900 to be able to get this amount of uh, pepper mix so it couldn't contain one nylon so that's why it was put into a separate nylon and then we removed some which we are going to use for my money so this is not the old 6900 it's actually supposed to be more than this okay the next up is beans this beans cost 2500 beans have as a different variants i hope you are aware <laughs> so this is the particular variant of beans so let me know the different variants that are available in your country. 
This is the one I use for moi moi. There's another one called the Ewaloni. I like cooking that one. But if I want to make moi moi, I think they call this drum. Drum beans. This is the one I use for moi moi. Then, of course, we have the moi moi leaves, which is what we are going to use to wrap our moi moi. So, this moi moi leaves cost 100 naira for one. So, this three cost um, 300 naira. And they are fresh. So, you, you, you should not buy them. Them too far from when you want to use them, so I'm going to be using this tomorrow. That's why I bought it today. If not, they are going to shrink and lose color. Uh, so, so I like doing more and more inside leaves. Some people do it inside nylons and plastics and all, but uh, no, <laughs> I, I prefer my leaves. Please, next are these vegetables. Don't you love how colorful this looks? So I want to use this to make fried rice and the carrot cost 1000 naira while the green tatashe cost 1000 too. I think this green tatashe is expensive. I mean, uh -uh. one is 300 naira. They first said 500 naira, then I bargained and finally got it for 300 naira. But I still think it's expensive, so let me know in the comment section. Do you think this is expensive? Just one like this is 300 naira. But the carrots, um, this is five five hundred. So this is five hundred for a a bundle like this, and this one also costs five hundred naira. Five dries, five dries loading. So next up is this um, cooking oil, vegetable oil, and this five liters cake costs six thousand naira. So they usually charge for the container if you were to bring your container to less to be lesser by 200 naira so this could have cost 5800 but well, because we got the container so this is 6000 naira and we wanted the um, one and a half keg so the remaining was poured into this so we got it for so making a total of um 9,000 naira that we paid. So the big keg, five liters, is 6,000 naira. Then half of it is 3,000 naira. So 9,000 naira. So next time, things we're going to this uh, fried rice ingredients. There are a lot. But let me start with the green pea. So one green pea costs 6,000, sorry, 6,000 K, okay. 650 naira. So this is the Faro Giant Marufat green peas. This is the one I usually like to use. I don't know why. <laughs> so I bought them one. This is another one, two. And this is another one, three. So three of them like that cost 1950 I also have a um, sweet corn. One is um, 450 naira. And I think I got three also for the sweet corn. So making a total of 1350 And we have the same thin tomato. This is 1000 naira for one tomato paste for jollof rice. Most households in Nigeria, this is one of the secrets to good tasting um, jollof rice. You need to add tomato paste. So I bought two because I'm going to use it to cook this rice. Um, a quarter of a bag, that's what we want to use it to cook. So I want to use our bag to make both jollof rice and fried rice. The next we have the ingredients. I'm going to start with this curry. This curry cost 1,200. I've really not used this brand before, but there is nothing bad in trying a new brand. <laughs> then we also bought the thyme. And the thyme is 1,005. I think these are imported brands. They are not the normal Gino and Co that we used to use. So this is 1,005. Then we have chicken flavor. Um, I always call it swaggy. <laughs> this is um, chicken cubes, okay? Chicken flavor. Oh, let me let me tell you something. So all the um, chicken cubes in Nigeria, you should call them Maggi, because that's the I think that's the first brand that got into the country. <laughs> but this is chicken cubes, and this particular one is called chicken flavor, and this is six hundred naira. Then we have no, no chicken. 
it's 700 naira for one i like no chicken like i can't use any other thing apart from no chicken so the i just want to try this for the first time but this is my go-to this is what i use normally and this is um 700 naira we got two of it we got two of it then we have this maggie <laughs> This is the famous Maggie, the first to come into the country. And this is 1,000 naira yeah, for Maggie crayfish. You want to use this for moi moi because of you know, that crayfish taste is very And I'm going to. Then this is um, cooking butter, simmers. The cooking butter costs 400 naira yeah, for one. And this is two. So this is 800 naira. Yeah. Okay. And we are going to go to salt. I think salt is like the cheapest thing in this country. So salt is like 100 naira for this size. There's one of 15 naira, but this is 100 naira for one. And this is the brand I usually use, Mr. Chef Salt. Then we have this um, garlic powder. So like I was saying, the garlic powder is um, 200 naira for a roll. This is a roll of how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a roll of ten. This two hundred naira. Why this um fried rice seasoning? Like I said, I want to make fried rice. It's three hundred and fifteen naira. Also for a roll. So this is the remaining pepper that we removed from the pepper mix. The six thousand nine hundred pepper. Remember. So to blend it was um we paid five hundred naira. To blend that large amount of pepper and that's because we had a customer one thing you need to know is that when you go to the market regularly you need to have one person that you buy a particular thing from so for fish i have a customer for pepper i have a customer for meat i have a particular customer so as you build your relationship with those people over time they tend to discount you on some things normally we had to pay like 800 naira to blend that pepper but because we had the customer we paid 500 naira <laughs> So guys, this is the fish I bought. This is one carton, and this is for twenty-eight thousand naira. This is frozen fish. The pan is really big. I think this is like one, and this is another one. So this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen like 15 pieces for but then there's another one down another set down so that is that was like 30 pieces so 30 pieces for 28,000 naira initially when i priced this they said 26,000 naira and like three days after when i now wanted to buy they are calling it for 28,000 naira so meaning 2,000 naira has gone on it so this is what inflation is in nigeria Prices of food stocks are just skyrocketing every day. But we thank God for everything. We move. Yeah, this is onions and this is 1000 naira for how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, <laughs> like, what is like 100 naira? So, this thing is 1000 naira. It's a good buy. I don't know, onions is just generally expensive now. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> so that's it people that's all what i was able to get from the market i'm going to do a calculation to find out how much i spent i just realized below 100,000 naira. so i noticed that the fish which was um 25,000 and not uh, fish sorry was um 28,000 naira, and the meat 25,000 naira. that is what took the bulk of the money but the others were not as expensive as that so please like i said let me know what country you are watching this video from and what is the current prices of this food stuff in your country i would like to know and i'd like to meet you i'm going to be replying all comments i get on this video trust me <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed it if you have not subscribed to my channel like what are you waiting for <laughs> 
subscribe click on the subscribe button and like this video it helps with the algorithm it helps more people to see it you can also share to maybe your people abroad or your people in nigeria so that they know what the prices of foodstuffs are in the country right now so thank you and i'll see you in my next video till then be good bye